today's video, we have got another how to build the perfect squad for you. Now, I did this a while ago with kind of like a free budget and uh, kind of just like no limitations at all. And you guys absolutely loved it. Um, so I thought I would do this again. Basically, if you guys didn't see that episode, it's basically kind of just like a slow squad builder um, where I build the team fully live on this on in, in this video. And uh, it's just something that you guys can listen to maybe whilst doing something else. And I kind of tell you all the different tricks and tips into building a hybrid. Um, we're going to be building a minimum of a free league hybrid. Uh, you know, all the normal stuff for, for a hybrid. So, um, yeah, this should be pretty interesting. I'm going to be showing you my best knowledge and how I go about building, building a hybrid. Because obviously I do it most days uh, with loads of different videos. You know, maybe like a squad builder showdown, suicide squad, seven minute squad builder. Um, so, yeah, you guys know that I build hybrids a lot. And I thought, you know what, it's a good way of me showing you what to do. So, we're going to be using a 25k team. We're going to be trying to build a team for 25k. Now, as you can see, I've got 27,000 coins. So there are thereabouts around the 27k mark, around the 25k mark. Um, and everything's going to be random. So first of all, formation. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just quickly scroll through the formation so that you guys know none of this is fixed or staged at all. Looking away, 3, 2, 1, stop. There we go. We're going to be using the 4, 2, 3, 1 second variation. It's going to be quite tricky, actually. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and pick up a player for 1,000 coins. Actually, no, we can go a little bit higher. We can go a little bit higher. We'll go to, we'll, we'll buy a player for 2,500 coins and we'll buy the player, we'll change it to gold and we'll buy the, a player off the fourth page. We can choose any player we want off the fourth page, okay? So here we go, first page, second page, third page and fourth page. Right, let's see what we've got to work with then. Okay, so... Balotelli, uh, Kachirawak, uh, Gonalons, Trap, we've got there, Charisma, Charisma could be quite interesting to be honest, um, Yang Mbuya, alright, I, I feel like I want to kind of test myself in a way, we're going to go ahead and use Charisma at the right midfield spot, believe it or not, this guy is actually very very good on FIFA and um, Honestly, you guys can trust me in, that, in the fact that you don't have to be like a massive skiller to go ahead and use this guy. He genuinely is just really, really good anyway. So um, there we go. We have put him into the right midfield spot. Like I said before, we're going to be using the 4 2 one second variation. We've got that randomized. Um, now, the first kind of steps that you guys have to go through when building a hybrid is his nation and his league and obviously his team. So you guys know that a club link is going to get him a strong link. Uh, and then a nation and a league is just going to get him like a, I'm not even sure what it is, just like an orange link or not very, not a really strong link. I don't really know the names, I just kind of know how much chemistry I need to get a player on full chemistry. So, for example here, with Charisma, if we had two strong links and two dead links, he'd be on 9 chem. Uh, if we had one strong link and one uh, normal link, then that would be, you know, and then two dead links, he would be on 7 chem or 6 chem. Uh, basically, we're going to be trying to get every single player on 9 chem. That's the minimum that we're going to get. We could get 10 chem, it doesn't matter. So, first of all, what we're going to go ahead and do is pretty much just search right now in the uh, Turkish League and see what other players they have for Besiktas. So, we'll go concept players. What players are there available to my, you know, that I can use uh, to my advantage. So, a player which I've always looked at uh, in this league is Arslan. Um, mainly because he is actually a player which is going to be a kind of gateway into a different league, if you if you put it that way. So, um, Arslan is German. We can then move into the Bundesliga. We can move into the BB Elite, uh, Barclays Premier League, League of BBVA, if the players are there to, to buy. So, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to put Arslan in our team. He is going to be our right CDM. Now, you can say how well he's going to play in that position all you want. I don't really know how well he's going to play. Uh, now, if we can pick one up for 400 coins, that would be very tasty indeed. There we go. He's got 65 defending, 71 physical. I mean, he's not going to be like your Gustavo there, but he's going to do a job. Um, so there we go. We've got actually got um, Charisma, a nice link already, which is obviously what we want to go ahead and do. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is look for maybe a striker in the in the um, Turkish league that we can go ahead and uh, and add to him. So basically, we could actually try and find one for Besiktas as well. Besiktas probably would be the best player, best team to go for 
in terms of finding a striker, but I'm not too sure if I really want to go with Mario Gomez or Tosin. So uh, I'm thinking I will probably pass on that. We'll see now if there's any other players. So Sosa is, is actually quite a decent player. Looking at him there. He's not a bad player at all. I'm trying to think now. What has he got? Four star weak foot. Three star. Okay. Um, what right backs does this team have? They also have another right back. Okay. Right. What we're going to go ahead and do now then is simply go and find a, uh, a right back. Preferably kind of in... I don't think there is going to be one. But <laughs> what we want to do, actually, that could work out. See, this would have worked really, really well if Jao Pereira was still in, uh, was still playing for, for Valencia. That would have been absolutely perfect. But, oh, okay, there is actually a guy that we can use. Cancelo. I'm going to use this guy just for the sake of this video, just for the sake of showing you guys the kind of, uh, you know, what you need to do to build this team. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and buy him now. Um, and this will probably be the easiest way of me showing you kind of examples of, uh, of how you guys can get full chemistry on teams, etc, etc. So um, now what we're going to go ahead and do, because I know Valencia actually have a German centre-back uh, by the name of Mustafi, as you can see here. We're going to just use his normal card. That means that our right-back gets full chemistry. And also, our CDM, if he gets one more German link, he's going to get full chemistry as well. So we're looking pretty decent so far. Um, we've got a nice team going on. So um, now, obviously, uh, Charisma needs one more good link. That's all Charisma needs, which is all right. You know, that's pretty decent for us. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is find a centre-attacking mid in the Turkish League which we can then go ahead and link off into another league. That's what we want to go ahead and do. That's our aim. Um, so we are going to go ahead. Um, do you know what? I might actually buy that guy from Besiktas again. I might go ahead and buy Sosa. I mean, he doesn't look amazing. He looks okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Or I could go ahead and find someone... From a from a different nation, well, from yeah, from a, a different club, that's going to be better. So obviously Schneider is going to be a pretty decent option, or would be a pretty decent option. We have got the likes of whoa! I did just see someone decent there. Where is he? Okay, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically we need to find a centre attacking mid. And to be honest, I don't really like any of the, like the look of any of these. I know we could get Schneider. I mean, we could use Schneider. It could make things pretty difficult, though. It could make things very difficult, indeed. Um, but <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to just, just to just roll with it, to be honest. Could we just do it? Should we do it? No. We're going to go ahead and use Sosa, just for the sake of this video. Um, it's going to help us a lot in terms of being able to make... Well, create the best team possible. So hopefully you guys understand. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do now. Now we know we've got that centre attacking mid in our team. We've got that Besiktas link. And he's going to get full chemistry. All he needs to get now is one more link. Uh, just a normal link. He doesn't need a strong link. So um, yeah, we can forget about that. So what we'll do now, we'll just quickly put him in the team. Uh, concept player, centre attacking mid. Where is he? There we are. So he's actually the third best centre attacking mid in the Super League. So can't be that bad at all. So, I've got to think now, do I want an Argentinian, CDM, left midfield, or striker? I'm personally thinking striker, um, because there's quite a few decent Argentinian strikers available. Um, so, we're going to have a little we're gonna have a little look, first of all. We don't need to dive into things. So, obviously, Dybala, Vieto would be pretty decent to have there. Um, we've got, obviously, DeSanto, Icardi, Dybala, Zarate, Correa. So, we've got quite a few decent options. Now we're going to go ahead and change it to left wing and see what options we have. We have got Piatti, uh, we have got Lavezzi. Um, but to be honest, striker is going to be the best option for us because it's going to mean uh, we can kind of um, move into the left midfield uh, much easier. Because if we had an Argentinian link on the left hand side, 
uh, then we wanted a strong link for that left midfield in the striker spot, then the striker would have to be like a perfect link for them, which we don't really want to do. So the striker spot is probably the easiest option to go with. Um, and that for that reason, we are actually going to go for Dybala. Okay, so Dybala is in the team now. Now what Dybala needs is a nice link for, uh, well, a strong link for his left-hand side. I'm not too sure if there is actually many options. Yeah, there's just Asamoa. So... What I'm thinking is, if we went and changed up, let's have a little look at some inter left midfielders. Okay, let's see if there's any actual left midfielders instead of left wingers. So it's actually Perisic there. So th this is where you you know you can kind of change things up halfway through your squad. Um, instead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy Argentinian Inter striker. And that's going to be either Palacio or Acardi. We're going to go with Palacio for this video. He looks like he's got the better stats. So already you can see we've got the three leagues in there. Pretty nice indeed. We've got a Serie A, Super League, slash League of UVA hybrid. Pretty nice indeed. So what we're going to try and do here um, is move back into the League of UVA. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is I think probably the best option for me now. I could even make this a five league hybrid, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do it actually as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to make this a 5 league hybrid. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now is find ourselves a... Oh, actually, I don't know if, it's gonna, if we could actually make that work. Let me just look at the links quickly. Um, so, if I got... No, I could make it. I could make this a 5 league hybrid, guys. Um, and I've got 22,000 coins left. So, this kind of, could end up being like a 10k team. You never know. Anyway, we're going to start splashing the cash, cash a little bit more now and try and get find ourselves a proper CDM to put in there. And of course, we're going to go ahead and put in the one, the only, Sammy Kadira. He is your your perfect player for that for that centre defensive midfield spot. Uh, we do actually already have him in the club, but I'm just going to buy him for the sake of it. In fact, a couple of the players, we did actually have him in their club, so we probably have less than 20k. Uh, so I will uh, keep that in mind when I'm building the rest of the team. So, here we go. CDM, then we can go ahead now and put in Kadira. I think I must have changed him to a centre mid position because he isn't actually coming up. Um, so I'm guessing that is the case. Let's see if we can find him. Yes, that is the case indeed. Uh, and then what we're going to go ahead and do, because we want to move this into a different league as well, we are now going to go ahead and search for a Juventus left back. Okay, We need a Juventus left back in there because we need a strong link um, because Kadira is going to have three links and one dead link. Uh, so if he just had three normal links, he would get only like six or seven chemistry. But if he has two normal links and then uh, one strong link, then he's going to get nine chemistry. It's as simple as that. So that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to go Serie A now. And then we're going to go to Juventus, as you can see here. So let's go concert players. We've got quite a few options. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Alexandro because he's probably, uh, like I said before, we do have a couple of, a couple of cater to um, see and we're going to compare his price just to see how much he actually is so 6k he's probably going to end up being our most expensive player but I do not mind at all um, it's a purchase that I'm willing to make and to be honest it's probably going to be one that's going to strengthen the team quite a lot so let's go ahead now and check out what we can do with this team so I want to go ahead and buy a German centre back it doesn't necessarily have to be from the Bundesliga but that's probably the best option or best place to go um, because Mustafi needs one more link and so does Kadira. We need a German centre back in there uh, to get this team full chem. So we could, yeah, obviously we could go ahead and get Mertesacker. Uh, we could go ahead and buy Hummels. We, well, actually, well, we can't because we want to kind of keep in budget. Um, so I'm thinking maybe someone like Howard. Howards. Um, do you know what? Yeah, but we're, we're going to go with Howards. Okay. So there we go. We're going to buy him, and then of course in goal we're going to go ahead and pick up Farman as well because he's probably one of the better goalkeepers that we can go ahead and pick up. Um, so let's go now and find him. Let's go Bundesliga, uh, FC Schalke. Let's find them. There we go. And how much is in form? Okay, we can't actually pick up his in form, but we can pick up his normal card. Uh, there we go. There was actually one for 1k, I do know. And I just decided to buy the one for 1.1k and I already have him in my club. So there we go. That's my uh, that's my squad building technique for you. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and check out the rest of the team. Well, the, the finished team actually. The finished article, uh, if you will. So, let's go Germany. Bundesliga. 
FC Schalke, and then we can just simply slot in the final two players. So we have got Howard's 83 rare player, and then in goal we have got Farman. So that is the finished team, guys. Um, I will show you that every single player now does have 9 chem or 10 chemistry. Uh, the only reason uh, Arslan doesn't actually have full chemistry is because of uh, him needing a centimetre CDM position, which I'm going to correct now as you guys will see. So that is basically how I build a hybrid. Um, that's a very slowed down version. It's taken us about 15 minutes to do that. Um, so you can see how when, you know, YouTubers, etc. do like, uh, well, Tom series, Suicide Squads, Andy series, Squad Builder Showdown, um, or my series, Seven Minute Squads, we, you know, you're kind of like under pressure or check this challenge or whatever. You're kind of under pressure to build the team in a certain time limit, uh, along with all these other factors that would get involved as well. So. This is really breaking it down massively, um, but this team on it, it looks nice, doesn't it? It genuinely looks nice. We've got, uh, in goal, Farman, two centre backs, we've got Mustafi and also Howard. Right back, we've got Cancelo. I wish this got, I wish Jao Pereira used to, well, still played in the Liga BBVA for, for Valencia. That, this would make, that would make the team like absolutely perfect, but that's the only downgrade to this team. Uh, left back, we've got Alexandro, who's probably the most expensive player on the team. Two centre defensive mids then, we have got Kadira. And we have also got Arslan. Right midfield, we've got uh, Quaresma. Center to mid, we have got Salsa. Left midfield, Perisic. And then up top, we have got Palacio. On his own, I do need to apply a centimeter CDM position for this uh, Kadira card as well. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the look of this. Um, because it was it's just very, very simple. Um, and it's, it, you know... I personally can now never ever play with like a just a full box Premier League team, full Serie A side. Like I find it too boring. I have to go ahead and build a hybrid, whether it be two leagues. Uh, usually I always always go for three leagues minimum, um, or I build like a full informed team or like a silver team. I can do silver league teams or silver nation teams. It's just gold league or nation teams. It's just it's just boring. Um, personally, so yeah, that's what I went and that's what I've gone and done. Uh, I think this is actually a no links wasted. Ah, uh, no, it's not. Okay, it's very close to being a no links wasted team. Uh, almost there, but yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't. Um, so yeah, the only well, the, the player which is actually letting us down for the no links wasted is Arslan and also Charisma. Uh, yeah, Arslan and Charisma, so that's a bit annoying, but, you know, move on, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I could actually fix that as well, no I couldn't, uh, there's no way of really fixing it actually. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please be sure to smash a like uh, on the video. I'm not going to play a game, because the sake of this video was to show you guys how to build a hybrid. Uh, that's the fun of building hybrids, you know, building them and then seeing whether they're going to play in game. That's for you guys to do, so, um, if you want to build this team, Go ahead, do it. Maybe do exactly what I did at the start of the video. Have 25k budget, randomize your formation, go ahead and go into the transfer market, choose a random page, and pick any player off there and add them to your team. And then you can just go ahead and build a, build a hybrid as slow as you want. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, that'd be absolutely amazing. Like I said last time, this had so much support in it and so many kind words. So if we could have more of the same, that'd be absolutely insane. If there's anything you want to see different uh, for this video, then let me know in the comment section below. And until then, I'm out. Peace. Finding life along the